What's up, my lovely Aries? Okay, so you guys have just gone through your birthday month or months since we have a little bit of April and a little bit of March with you guys. So as promised, um, I did say I was going to give you guys two bonus readings. It's a little bit after your season, but I still wanted to get it out to you. So um, as the first reading that you guys chose, you wanted the topic of love. Okay, so I'm thinking which reading should I do? So I'm going to do um, how does this person feel about you? Okay, so the first person that comes to mind when you watch this video, you know, the person that you are thinking of, the person you may be with, the person you may be after, this is going to be how they feel about you, okay? Um, if you guys are interested in getting this reading personally, because it is a general reading, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to resonate with 100% of you, but I do offer it on my website, highvibrationswithliz.com. You can go ahead and purchase it, and I'll send you a reading tailored specifically to you and the energy of you and this person, okay? All right, guys, so let's see what is going on. All right, Aries, how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about Aries? All right, guys, so let's see what's going on. So the energy that we have here is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups sometimes could be a card about illusion. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different things in each cup. You don't know what cup is holding what. Okay, when it's in the reverse, that's kind of where everything falls out when you have more clarity. Um, but there could be confusion as to which direction this person wants to take with you. Maybe they feel like you're setting illusions for them. Maybe they're unsure about your intentions towards them. Um, but we have a Knight of Pentacles, so they want to take a slow approach towards you. It could be a Taurus for or Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, and with the Six of Pentacles, they just want balance. So from what I'm picking up here, um, this person is unsure about you and how you may feel towards them. Okay, so maybe I need to do this reading for all the signs, but no, I'm not. You guys will get your turn for the bonus ones for cross watchers. But okay, the first card here is what they're telling you, and we have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups, that's you know the soulmate card. Um, this is a card for people that want that deep connection. So they could be telling you, you know, that they feel that way for you, that they, um, you know, that they really feel this strong connection to you. All right, and we have the Two of Pentacles, but they're really trying to weigh out their options. Maybe there's somebody else in their life, and they're trying to find balance. They're trying to find this duality um, as to what they want. All right, and you have the Four of Wands. So with the Four of Wands, they want stability. And it's funny because you have the Two and Two, which add up to Four. So, yeah, there could be the sense of trying to find balance, but at the end of the day, they just want the stability. Um you know, they they truly feel that this is something that if they wait out, there could be a good start here, okay? Now, what's in their thoughts towards you is the next card. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like this person may feel defeated towards you guys. Maybe they feel like they've put so much time and energy into this, but they're not getting what they want out of this. All right, and we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So the Eight of Cups in the reverse is somebody here that may be thinking about returning to an ex or reconciling with an ex. Okay, so maybe they think that uh, no matter how much effort they put into you, you might go back to an ex. Uh, maybe they're thinking that maybe I didn't get anything out of this. Maybe I should return to an ex. Okay, but definitely someone's past being involved in this. Or if you guys aren't talking, it could be them wanting to reconcile with you but feeling like they're tired, that maybe they don't have the ability to manifest this. Or maybe they feel like someone in this situation is very manipulative. All right. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like they don't think that it'll work, but they want that reconciliation for sure. All right. How they feel deep down inside is the World card. So with this World card, that's ending a chapter as you know it. Whether it be you guys having, you know, having had problems in the past and now you want to move towards something that's more stable. 
okay? Or maybe it's just them wanting a new start altogether, whether that's with or without you, but they want to be happy and they want it to be good. All right, and we have the Ten of Swords. So they want to get past the chapter that has to do with betrayals, lies, hurt. Okay, they don't want to be part of this. Betrayal. All right. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So they want balance with you, but there was unexpected information here that came out where there was a harsh exchange of words that had to be dealt with, you know, with this time. Now, how they're walking their talk within their environment is the higher form. Okay, so if this is a marriage, they could really just want to respect that marriage and um, try to put the marriage first. If this is, um, you know, just a, a relationship or someone that is just attracted to you, then with the Hierophant here, they really want to go about things in a just way, in a moral way. All right, and we have the Judgment card in the reverse. So the judgment card in the verse, um, you know, there was bad call made here, whether it was on your part or on their part, and they want victory. So they really want to work things out, although there's been a lot of shit that has hit the fan, although there could have been bad judgment made on your part, on their part, okay? With the Queen of Wands, I feel like they really want to take power and they really want there to be passion here. Um, it could be a little Aries or Sagittarius that you, I mean, well, yeah, you guys are Aries, but um, it could be possibly another fire sign that you're dealing with. But this person, you know, if there's a sense of, you know, thinking that you guys should move away from another, maybe one person presented this idea, I really don't feel that they want to do it. You know, if that's an option that you put on the table or that they've put on the table, um, I don't feel that they want to do it. I don't feel that they want to move away. Okay. Now, the external influences is the next card. We have the Three of Cups. Now, this is going to be something that you don't necessarily have any power or control over with this person. So um, it could be somebody else that maybe they have because it's the Three of Cups here. Um, it could be something that they're celebrating, something that they feel good about. Full card in the reverse. So something that they know if they move forward with it, there's going to be complications. Well, so for some of these people, they may have somebody else and they don't want shit to hit the fan. Or maybe there's someone else that's at their disposal, but they don't want to go that route. All right. So if there is someone else there, I don't see them working on it. I don't see them wanting it. Okay. Um, but for others, it could be them celebrating something that is not going to work out. Something that's kind of, you know, kind of going to go to shit. So this could be a premature celebration too. Feeling very good. Feeling like they found something, but it's, it's not a good path to go down. All right. If there's an offer that they want or if there's something that they really want out of this, I don't see it coming. How they're going to feel towards you in the next six to eight weeks is the eight of, uh, eight of wands. So maybe this doesn't work out and now they want to speak to you again or they want to work on things again. But this is a card about communication, effort, reciprocation. The high priestess being very intuitive and coming to you, um, you know, in a way where they deeply know what they want. And we have the emperor in the reverse. So they may feel here that even if they're talking to you, that maybe because this is your card, guys, this is Aries and Virgo card with the Emperor in their verse, maybe they're speaking to you, but they have a strong feeling that maybe you're being dishonest with them, that you're not being 100% um, with them. And it's like they know in their heart that they need to turn their back on this, and they feel a huge loss because of it, and they feel like there's a lot of illusions. So maybe they're talking to someone else to try to get their mind off of this, if that's even the case. Um, but what do I see here? I see someone that may really want your love, but you may not want it back. Okay. Or maybe there's just something where you feel for whatever reason, you can't move forward. Um, now realize that this is general guys, and these energies can be transferable. So, um, it could be maybe, um, you acting in a negative way or them acting in a negative way, but you'll know how it fits to your situation. So what do we do in terms of advice? Let's see. So let's see what's going on in terms of the advice cards. 
We have the Five of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Wands in the reverse, and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so whatever's been going on, whatever um, unclarity you have towards this person, you're going to, you know, things are going to just come out in the open where you're going to have a very clear vision of where you need to go. All right. With the four of wands in reverse, there is this strong sense of instability, but something here will be accepted that you'll be able to get over any loss that you may feel towards this person. Or maybe if you guys are kind of backing up and moving away from this person, they'll finally find a way to get over it. But uh, let's go a little bit deeper because I feel like uh, there's more to this. So why is this Five of Cups in the reverse here? Why is this Four of Wands in the reverse here? Why is this Four of Cups in the reverse here? Yeah, it's the same thing, guys. You know, I see someone really wanting to fight here, but I see someone wanting their way out. And if that's the case, um, to be honest, I see a reconciliation. If there's been problems with someone that's going to work, you know, that a reconciliation is going to happen, rather. Um, but I don't know if it's something that's going to last forever, okay? I, I feel like uh, we're putting a Band-Aid on something that needs stitches, all right, so it, it's it's not a temporary, I mean, it's not a permanent fix. Um, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups where somebody here is going to accept the reconciliation, um, but it's just, it's going to be unstable. And you're going to feel like the worst that could have happened to you has already happened, that your armor to just deal with any bullshit that may be thrown at you and that person could be ready to deal with it too. So it's going to get to the point where I feel like both parties are just going to, you know, they're, they're going to be at a standstill and they're kind of just going to get over it. For some of you, it could be because you're numb at this point. For others of you, maybe you're just over the situation and don't want it. But um, if there's a reconciliation here, I see it as being temporary. I don't see it as being a permanent fix. All right. So you guys know I'm always going to be real with you with what I see in these cards, but that is what I'm seeing. But Aries, I love you. And again, um, if you want this reading, it's on my site, High Vibrations with Liz. Uh, for iPhone users, if you want to ask me a question or you want to call me for reading, um, you can use the app called Instant Go. I'll leave my link there as well. But anything you guys need, at your order. All right. So I love you. And I will be back. I think it was a finance reading you guys wanted. I'll check the poll in a second. And then uh, get ready for that because I'm going to post that next. All right. Love you guys. Take care.